Hi everyone. Now this is the fly I'm going to be tying. This is a basically it's a dull back. Uh, basically uh, one that I'm using a material called anti-static bag on the back. So it's named after the material. Uh, it's quite simple as that. But the dull back is a great style. And the dull back is a is a Welsh fly uh, with the name name means little devil and uh, it's an old old pattern though it's a great fly to give the impression uh, of midge pupa in this case uh, the black midge uh, especially the early season version like this one it works really well so I thought you'd like to see it tied uh, it's quite simple the hook choice is up to yourself main two sizes especially this time of year 10s and 12s uh, this is the, the hook I'm using this is one from Fully Mill competition heavyweight uh, the black nickel uh, obviously goes with black fly as well, so it's a good hook. Um, thread, I'm using the 8 uni, in this case in black. I've run the wax through it so it gives me plenty of grip. Now I'm just going to work my way down, putting a layer of thread in the shank. Now I'm going to come by, I'm going to stop just tightly by the point of the hook, meaning I'll just show you it. Once I get to this point, I'll let the thread go. You'll see that I'm going to Pointed hook about a mill or so. Then we tie in the tail, tails, cock hackle fibres. Now you could go a stage, you could go further down, it's up to yourself. It's just this style works really well. Uh, it keeps the bend open as well if you're going to catch and release. Now for the tail, it's a cock hackle fibres, I say, dyed black. I'm just going to bring out a few of the fibres, 90 degrees from the stem. Once they're lined up, tear it away. You're looking for at least the body length for a tail. Just catch that on the top. Yeah, first thing I'm going to do, a bit of wax. Because all I'm going to do here is put a couple of turns. Now these two turns are heading down the body. They're on the bare hook. So I need that wee bit of extra grip. So it sits. Trim the length of the body. So it keeps everything nice and even. The rub of the fly. In this case, this is the venue number 27 wire, silver. And if you're using like UTC or so, uh, you'd be a small. Just, now, normally this turn would be the next one down again and whatnot, the length of the body. Just a turn to hold it. Now, the back is, as I said, it was anti static, so it gets its name from. This is the bag here. You can see the anti static bag comes with computer components like hard drives so on, even some uh, quite a bigger electrical uh, equipment obviously stops the uh, static uh, obviously any uh, static building up but it catches the light as you can see and it gives that nice silvery black it's kind of lovely colour now I cut it uh, using a small blade uh, just using a you could use that or a small guillotine, it's up to yourself. I've used both. Uh, this is just a small scalpel blade. I use a ruler. Now, this is about 2mm wide. Now you could rib, as I say, the, the fly uh, with the static bag or in this case I'm doing it along the back. So I'll be tying it on the top. Now I'm just tidying things up at this point. Take my thread up. All the way. And then coming the thread back down. Now I'm going to stop it about maybe two mil or so away from the back. This helps to give me a taper. Just checking where it's sitting. That's fine. Just tapers the body at the back a bit better. Now you'll find most dial backs have got a peacock herald body. In this case, this is the dyed. This is this is from Vineyards. It's a strong peacock herald. With a couple of lengths dyed black. You can tie it in close to the tips. It's going to line up the ends. You catch this on. And then wind up. Now the herald is the weakest fibre. It's really weak. Uh, but first we need to protect it. To protect it, I'm going to wind it towards myself. Because when I rub it, I'm going to come over it the same way I wind my thread. Uh, which will basically catch in the hair far better. Just wind it up, get to this point. Now, because I'm, I'm, I've done that, I've got to lock in, I've got to come over it with a turn, a turn onto the hook which locks it in, do the same again, 
Just a couple of times, that'll hold it. Trim away. We can then bring our back over. So we'll bring your anti-static bag over the back. Catch this on. We want three or four turns. Trim away. Now again, what's going to hold the, the anti-static on is the, the wire. Do a straight turn at the back. The one, two, three, four, five turns up. Follow it up with your thread the last turn. Bend it 90 degrees, which will lock it in. Just take your thread to the eye, bend and break away the wire. So I wax my thread. Continue back to the body. There you go. See how things are sitting. So it's fine. Okay at the back. I like the herald to sit nice. So you got a nice shape when it starts to get in the water. You got a nice uh, fine herald. Peacock herald's great in the water. Uh, it looks more black now that's on the fly. It looks, I mean, you look at it, it looks very green, but once you've got it on the hook, it's totally different looking. Uh, throw it. I'm using this is just hen hackle dyed black. Again, I'm just going to bring it 90 degrees from the stem. Now I like using hen, it's a wee bit softer. Adds a wee bit more movement to the throat area. Now just bring them out. You don't want it too long, just slightly less in the body, hold it underneath, do a pinch and loop up the way. Three or four turns. You can see how it's sitting, that's fine. Come in, take your thread away with your finger, and then Hold it out the way, as you can see it's on the top there, you can trim it away without cutting the thread. Tidy up, a wee bit more wax on your thread. Now you could stop at that really, it's a good enough fly the way it is just now. So, but I'm going to put it in the goose bites, so bring two out. I'm going to, basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to trim them, straight cut. Take the corners off. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. Normally I do it a bit closer, but anyway, you'll not basically cut it so that I've got a kind of V like. If you if you take out a position I'll I'll do it so you can see how it's I moved it, but to get it back, just loosely hold them with finger and thumb and then tap it with your finger. That'll bring them back together. And then you want them a couple of mil, two to three mil either side of the body. Come around with a couple of turns. See how they're sitting. And it, usually it can sit at a slight angle if you want, but normally in straight. So we quite look both sides. This one here's sitting slightly down. There we go. Once you're happy, you can then tighten up. Again, a wee bit more wax on your thread. I usually like to take the thread right to the eye and come back up. Keeping the thread really tight and you can break away the bites. Now I've got a couple of wee bits there. Uh, there are a couple of ways to get rid of that. Is to take a thread down, just stretch your thread to the eye and then tidy, tidy up. And there's that long stretch, or the long piece. Most times, well not every time, but they break, they're nice and clean. I'd rather do that, because you get a cleaner cut. It's a bit better. Now, for the flash, I'm going to use just this. This is a silver fry. As you can see, it's from F&F. &F. Now you don't need much, two or three fibres. Oops, that's too much. Uh, you just need enough to double on, as I say, you don't. You could put as much on as you like, but I don't like too much. Just lightly dub it on. And then form a, a head with it, really. And this gives the impression of the, the breathers. Uh, which you get on the midge pupa adds a bit of flash as well. I say, don't put too much on. 
Let's blend it. And the whip finish. Trim this out away. And then we can varnish the head. All the way around. And there we go. And that's the anti static or a version uh, of the dial back with the anti static bag on the back. Now, why the reason if you if you see this in the water, you'll see how it catches the light. It catches the light in a, a nice way. Um, if you see an image pupa, they've got looks like a looks like a fine hair though. It just catches the light when it hits it. Fish react to that, so that gives that impression. So see, you could get that as well with. Uh, ribbon it, you need to make it a bit finer than that but you, along the back catches the light more than you think so it's worth tying them with this style so there we are, simple fly, simple wee dial back great wee pattern, it's only worth tying so I hope you enjoyed the video and again thanks for watching